so for my d flip flop uh, my inputs are input clock and d underscore in these are my inputs followed by outputs are q and q bar so these are my inputs and outputs of my d flip flop so the equation is simple for d flip flop uh, if the input d is equal to 1 at the pause edge then the output is equal to input and if there is no pause edge then the output remains then the output retain the previous value that is if at pause edge uh, i'm making a pause edge d flip flop so at the pause edge if the input is high then the output will be high and if the input is low at the pause edge then the input will be low but at the neg edge the input will remain as it is there will be no change in the input so using that uh, concept i will write the code for d flip flop so assign output our output is q is equal to so i will use the conditional operator so i will make clock so if clock is equal to high then we should select the input d else we will select we will retain the output sorry it is not d it is d underscore in so using this conditional operator i am writing the code so output assign q is equal to when clock is equal to high then output will be equal to d underscore in and when clock is equal to low then q will be equal to q only and assign q bar will be equal to not of q q bar is nothing but complement of q so this is a simple code for d flip flop using data flow modeling so let me write the test bench also db underscore d flip flop Minute, it is getting created yeah so for this db underscore d flip flop let us write the db so dfs so i will make the inputs <coughs> i will declare the inputs as red so red clock d underscore in and outputs are q comma q bar and d underscore let me instantiate it d underscore ff using dfm dot clock d underscore in q and q bar so i have instantiated it so i will initially make my clock is equal to zero so initial begin clock is equal to zero ending this and within an always block I will generate the clock of 10 time units so hash 5 not of clock so here the clock period uh, time period is 10 nanoseconds and so within an initial begin and block at the rate at negage of clock so at the negage of clock I, I am going to change the inputs so I will give initially d in is equal to 1 and I will make a negative of clock d underscore in is equal to 0 and again I will make d in as high negative of clock d in is equal to 1 so this is the test bench I have written it let me save it and compile it so is this clear for everyone the very low code for d flip flop and this is a test bench so if you are having any doubt you can ask me yeah so let us see the simulation what we are getting here so let me minimize it So here we can see, um, wait a minute. so 
so at the rate uh, at negative of clock we are uh, changing our d input so at posage we will get q as 1 and q bar as 0 and again we are making d in as 0 so q will be reflected at the posage here we can see at negative we will change the values and at posage we will get the output q is equal to 0 as d in and q bar is equal to 1 and again d in is equal to 1 then q is equal to 1 at posage and q bar is equal to 0 so this is the functionality of d flip flop so this is a wedlock code for d flip flop in data flow model so if you are having any doubt you can ask me simple we have used only conditional operator for writing the wedlock code so q will be equal to d underscore in when clock is equal to 1 and q will be retain its value when clock is equal to 0 this is the conditional operator and q bar is will be equal to not of q so yeah so if you have any doubt you can ask me